Welcome friends to the next episode of the Ride to Riches series. We're in it right away ladies and gentlemen. So I did not want to wait at all. I'm going to get right into the action so we don't well, hold up the episode because we know what we're doing. We're going for the disease history. Grabbing the two items inside the building right here actually. And then we're going to obviously try to get the last two kills that we need. And hopefully one that will be a bear so we can finish up getting done with Punisher Part 6. So let's see how it goes. I couldn't get any PS ammo, unfortunately. It wasn't available. So uh, we're down to LPS. We'll make it work. We'll definitely make it work. I think I'm going to see if I can wait for players to come this direction. Maybe we take them out early and then we don't have to worry about anyone. Get up to the second floor. Hang up for just a second, see if anyone comes our way. Otherwise, we'll go down to the bunker and we'll see if we can find anyone down there. Surprised I didn't hear anyone running our way. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Alright. Uh, is there anything here we want? We can take the Sailor Wall. Nothing else. Let's go check. The first room, the s &P room, Get that unlocked. There is the item we need. Oop. Bandage, let's grab all this stuff here. Would be kind of cool one of these days to find the Letix, but I'm not sure what the percentage chances of that is. Take all this. I guess we could technically make it like a, like a medical run or something. And then the other room should be right here if I brought the right key. Should be the KMP. It is. This one. I don't remember where it's at. Oh, it's right there. Awesome. Got the items we need. Let's see what kind of loot we can get from here. Doesn't look like much. Hmm. Okay. Let's keep on moving. Keep on moving. See anything in here we can take. I didn't bring in the paracord this time. We are rocking the docks case that we got. And uh, we have the, only the two keys right there. We are going to build up our keys for reserve and obviously some other maps as well. And then we'll just periodically bring those in. It's like nobody came this direction. It's kind of unfortunate. That's fine. Maybe we can find them in the bunker. Okay. Uh, inside there nothing I wonder if bless us are still going for a high price last time I sold one of their like 40,000 but they they may have gone down in value I'm not really sure I haven't sold one in a while so they could definitely be lower value so I'm turn the power on Sneaky, it seems. I think there's two of them.
Maybe it was just the one. Let's get her stamina back. Sadly, that is just a USEC. Some good stuff. I'm just gonna get a search now and then we'll take the bag with us. So you can't do it because you can technically do it like infinite, <laughs> infinite like items in there. I think we'll unload this. Get rid of that. We'll do a little bit more looting and then I think we'll, we'll, we'll call it come back in. People are over all over the place in this map, so. Let's start heading towards the He turned the power on for us already, so we don't have to worry about that. And we're not gaining energy. I have to remember that. Nobody. That means one more kill. And again, we still just need that one bear tag. I think for keeping us moving forward, for right now at least, what I'm going to do is continuously just go into the next raid and just drop everything off and then we'll do everything towards like the end of the episode nothing really is going to be changing other than me just grabbing some ammo and maybe some medical if i need it so for those that are kind of concerned that you may miss something don't worry you're not gonna miss anything anything in here That way, otherwise I'll never get back up because of how heavy it is. Got that. I don't see. Oh, there's one more. I wonder if it is around that time that we should start holding on to the water filters and start selling them in the flea market. We'll take a look at that as well this episode. Because considering the fact that. We are now getting like almost a month in to the wipe that it's a good chance that people are going to be having a need for it. I know exactly where he's sitting.
Oh, I got him. He died. <laughs> you fucking cunt! Fucking murder you, you dipshit! Damn, they are still breathing! Lay down your weapons and give up! My loot! I've got them fighting each other now. Really gotta fix my arms. Well, I have an idea. Involved having that dog tag though. There's a not a very nice gun to have to deal with. He's just going to sit inside there. It's a bear too and I need that kill. I need my bag though. That's my last of my healing right there.
Come on, peek again. Gotta be perfect with the shot. This man's got needs for days. Oh god, there's another one coming. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we'll let him come in and, and start fighting him. Maybe he can take him out. And then we'll take out the other guy. Not worth it. It's not worth it. Why don't we do this? I want that body that I killed. So we're going to go around. He's going to stop me no matter what. So D2 is kind of out of the option. I could try to push him, but like... Maybe I do push him. So SVT. Let me think here. Mm -hmm. Drop this, drop this. I should be like this. Got the sailor wall. Got everything. I think this guy is gonna sit there the whole time though. Problem is his flashlight. If I can get enough shots on him early on, it'll be fine, but flashlight's the only thing I'm kinda like iffy on.
10 left. I'm just going to hope this guy left. We're out of here. Whew, that was a fun fight, actually. I actually really enjoyed that. So we got the kill, and we got the bear tag. And we got the task gun. And we got a bunch of gear. I like it. I like it. The, the plan worked out. And we got the gazelle pretty much down to nothing. That worked out way better than expected. I will take that every single day. I can see why I was hurting so much. I looked at what the guy was shooting me with. Uh, he was shooting me with the 762 by 39 PP. That's why it was hurting so much. So let's do this. So uh, take both these out. Let's go over to Prapor first. Prapor. Actually, no, 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 no. We go to Ragnar first. We go to Sewing Goose Part 2. Turn this in. Complete it. Key to success, which I don't remember what that task is. Oh, the books. Okay. Part 3. We turn in the full one. And now we need to do the one where I pretty much do what I just did there, except for just get a damage. Um, got that done. Let's go to therapist next. I really haven't done much therapist tasks lately. It's kind of funny. Turn those two in. That's disease history completed. These other two should be pretty easy to do, but prep or prep or my man. I have the last dog tag and my reward. Thank you. Fine. <laughs> let's grab a reward from that one let's go over to there let's then get a bunch of medical stuff if i saw correctly on that a bunch of face shields from ragman yes a bunch of medical grab all of it and we can get all the stuff chopped off that worked out so well i'm very happy about that i think what we're going to do next is we're going to head over to shoreline let's get lps going yeah, I think I'm going to shoreline. I'm going to do a quick edit on this. I'm not going to do much. I'm just going to add in that two times scope again. Just right here, the compact scope. Get that purchase. Get that attached. Cool. Mag. Where'd the mag go? Did I take the mag out? Wait. I'm confused. Wait. Was I running around that whole map without a mag? At the end there? Oh no, okay, maybe I wasn't. That was confusing. Anyway, let's just get all the stuff dropped off. We can bring in the armor. We'll use this instead. Got all this. I gotta get the Sailawa. We'll use this one and then have this as a backup. So we got four. Grab one of these. Five, six. Good on that. Then we need to grab a couple keys. We need to grab. Where are the ads? Oh, these are, oh wait, it's in the other thing. The Jinji. It's in the Jinji. Yeah. The cottage safe key and also the cottage key. We need to get some food in us. I think I have one more thing of food left to eat. Oh, it's in the bag here. Oh no, I already ate all the food. Well, then I gotta buy some food real quick. And a, and a water. Water. Let's buy this. Let's get... Oh gosh, where'd he go? Eat that. And drink nine of this. Very good. All right, let's head over to Sherline. I want to go and get the items for Colleagues Part 2, and we'll get that one completed. We have to go over to the Shoreline area, down to, like, the blue building, and then also go to the cottage, which where the door is locked. Got to grab the extra ammo, which is in here. Grab all the LPS. And a little extra as well on top of that one. If I can move it. There we go. Now... Maybe it's smart to bring an M4 in. 
it may be actually smarter to bring an M4 in. Hmm. Because I do need to start working on some kills. Because we got the peacekeeper tasks. So we come over here, the ghost tasks. What job and all that stuff. Yeah, we have to kill him with suppress M4. Why not? I know I just bought the scope, but it's fine. I have so much stuff. I can't even buy an M4 because I don't even have the space. <laughs> Let's make a quick space on that one. Let's buy M4 down here. Oh, where's the M4 set? There it is. 72,000, sure. We'll go with 72,000 on that one. I can't really modify. Let me make a little more room here. I think I need to make this little bit of room. Edit this. Let's get a suppressor on it. Nothing crazy. It doesn't really need anything crazy. Not the moment. We'll put that two time scope on there, actually. Just enough to make something work here. Let's get RK0 going on that. Switch out the gas. Uh, there it is. Gas block. MK12, that's fine. Like I said, we'll put the two times on that one. I want a different grip. That's fine. We'll make it work with that. Purchase those, and then we gotta go off the grid for the other two. Holy shiitake mushrooms, that's really expensive. Let's swap out that. <laughs> Let's swap out that. Well, that's a little more expensive than I was expecting. What about you? Actually, I think I'm No, I don't have that suppressor missing. Purchase this. Oh, I do have that suppressor. No, we're good. We're good. We have that suppressor. Let's get this moved out. Take the scope, put that on there. And we got to get a couple of mags. I don't think these will work. Oh, there's actually 36 mags. Oh, I can't wait for the construction of my house to be done. Oh, you guys have no idea the amount of sounds it makes in this house. <laughs> so many. I don't know if you guys can actually hear the video, but I hear it every five seconds. Buy three of those. Let's go one, two. Where's the other mag? Three. Put this in the epsilon. Okay. And let's load the max up. Load that. Load that. Load that. Actually, I should do this. Take these. Oh, come on. Load one extra round into there. Move those there, take those out. Actually, now that we have the epsilon, we can actually stack the extra ammo in here. Keep using the CMS for now. Anything else I want to put in its place as well? Maybe if we get like an injector case one these days, if we purchase one, that'd be a good, good, good thing to get. Get painkillers in there. Yeah, because I think we used up all the painkillers. That's good there. And guys, I think that's it. I think that's all we really need to do. Maybe an extra heavy bleed just in case. Yeah, I'll take that, set, that setup right there, put the ammo into the gun, and we are ready. We need to get how many kills for what job? What job, what job, what job? 10. And then the Cargo X, I got, it's on the East Wing computer, or East Wing computer room. I forget wh which one that is. I may not be able to do it, but I'll take a look in between. So let's head out, let's do this. All right, let's get moving. Uh, I do want to say that we still have the plans at some point you know, get over to doing the marching key for um, Colt Part 1. It is still on the books, and I'm hoping to still make it happen, but it is um, not quite there. But we are still going to be trying to make it happen. Uh, I also found out that we are able to do this task uh, for Cargo X Part Part 1. Turns out we do have the key. We have the, It's the East 306 key, the one that we went to before. Yeah, players. So yeah, we were able to do the task. I don't know what to, are they going straight up to the resort? Lost him. I think they were, but I didn't see him. Maybe they went up on the rocks. I think they went on the rocks. Like up here in this little path in front of us. Let's try to keep up behind them. Put 
Like, so down up the path. And I definitely would have seen him cross, so they must have gone up the rocks here. Uh, plan's going to be to try to get up here first, get the item from the 306, and then head down to the shoreline. But I have to go basically into the same wing that these guys are going in. Just trying to figure out the right path to do this. Find up this. Gotta be a little cautious, obviously, since I'm running solo. Didn't catch him, sadly. However, maybe I'll catch him by the window. Outside the window. I'm sure the second floor, but I can try to catch them when they come down. If they come this way. So I'll hang out here for a second. Come on. He's on the other balcony. Probably inside, I would say they're on second floor. So no, they're probably on third floor. Um, inside the maintenance closet area. I'm sure what their plan is here. They may stay like up the floors and stuff coming in. That would be the only bad thing if they did that. They're moving slow. Maybe. Come on, what's the plan? Still hearing them. Hmm. Still above. Oh, because my well, other thought was going to the right and then going into the building and trying to get up to the third story. I just don't know what direction they're going to go. They're, st they're spending a lot of time on this side. Yeah, they're they're on the balcony. It looks it sounds like they're literally coming around the corner, but they're not. There's no wood over there. Okay, I was gonna go around, but now it sounds like they're coming back this way. Come on, what's your plan here? I won't spend all day trying to kill you two. Yeah, screw them. They're gonna hear me, but it's fine. Just stay out of the, the spot and we'll be fine. I see they're on the third floor. Grenade. 
or just broke glass apparently. I don't know what the heck they're doing right now on the side. We'll go do 306 and grab the item and then just keep listening out for them. Because they're still like midway down the hallway, either on the third floor or the second floor. I'm not quite convinced on which one yet. Real six. Should be on the chair, yeah. Taking my time a little more than I usually would, but I'll be cautious, you know? I only want that cord. Give me the cord. What's even weirder though is that they haven't really been making noise since they heard me, which means they're plopping themselves in place as well. So we're going to not deal with that since I don't have to be here anymore at the resort. Let's move. stairs so he's on the roof down to the water I don't really know how I want to, how, I, how to approach the uh, resort very well like obviously you have to fight in the flo fight in the hallways try to move your way up to the can or like hold the angle see if they're gonna do anything but with that many rooms without having a teammate it's a little hard to clear I look forward to the day that they make it so you can you can swap shoulders with your rifle that way left hand peaks are still pretty strong I know the problem with with the, is like the camera is pretty much like set to your right eye so that's like the biggest problem with that maybe one day they'll find a solution let's go find some more scabs down here I heard more of them Where are you, scabs? I heard you. It's over here. Oh, there's two snipers. Oh.
everything that I want. Okay. All right, let's get down to the shoreline. Next step is to grab one of the parts for colleagues part two. Then after that, we get head over to the cottages. It's not like most players are over at the resort, so we'll let them do their thing. I was hoping that guy was going to come in the door, though. I was getting ready for him. I was like, please, please do it. It would make my day, but he didn't do it. See, doing his scabs over here. Hopefully we get like what happened before where scabs just started like spawning out of nowhere. That was amazing. I can get all the kills right there. That'd be cool. Actually, I think I need 15, so that's not going to happen. <laughs> it's going to take us probably a couple runs in this map. Surprisingly, I don't have that many quests right now to do on this map. Like, I still have some, but, like, it's mostly just the killing ones. I don't have any, like, the, grab this or grab that. So it's a little, like... Is that me? I heard jumping. Where the heck is that at? It was like, it was jumping, then a shotgun went off. But the jumping sounded like right here. Am I going crazy? Oh, there was another one. I didn't hear the second hop. Woo, there was two. Where there's one, there's two. Dang. Well, three kills. And then we got killed by the next guy. BS ammo. Yeah, I was not going to survive that. <laughs> well, at least we didn't lose much ammo because now that we have the Epsilon, they can carry a lot more things. Dang it. Let's do it again. All right, we'll get to a safe place and I'll show you the gear that we brought in. Brought the, like, pretty much the same M4 in. I switched up the suppressor a little bit, put a flashlight on it. But other than that, it's pretty much the same. Right, let me get over here quickly so I can show you so you guys can see it. Boom. There you go. That's what we brought. Uh, I don't know why I didn't think about this. I, like, I brought the splints for this last raid, but I don't know why I didn't put those in the Epsilon. They're in there now. Just here we are. Would make more sense, right? So, yeah. Let's try it again. We gotta get a bunch of kills, grab the items, and pretty much go from there. Right, we're gonna try to sneak into the cottages first. It's kind of a weird, awkward place to do all this. But I'm thinking, just to make it a little easier on ourselves, so we go cottage, go to the shoreline, go to the resort, and then we take lighthouse out. Yeah, I like the idea. Or if we get a good, like, if I can go out the back door, then we'll actually take customs out.
Where is this scab going? Scab. Calm, calm, calm down, scab. Dang, he was just like, he had the zoomies. Zooming along everywhere. All right, let's get over to the cottage. I'm not going in that one, just in case there's somebody sitting in there, because there is a spawn close to these cottages. I'd rather just hit this one up. Close the door. Even though you can literally hear the people there inside this building, like, a mile away. I'll try to, you know, be a little quiet if I hear somebody. If I remember right, this thing is inside the pot? Yes. I didn't remember that. I couldn't remember if it was or not. What do you got? A ram stick, huh? No graphics card for us? Oh, it's a full one. I think that's the last teapot we needed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was. So I think we're all good. Unlock the safe. What do you have for us? Rubles. Ooh, book. I'm glad I got that book. Wait, can I go inside the... It can. Cool. Oh, so can that. Cool. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but this is many, many episodes ago, but I ended up selling on accident the Baker's book, and I need that. That is a streamer item. So I need to make sure I hold on to that. All right, next place to go is Shoreline. And there are people over there for sure, because I heard some shots. So I gotta be a little careful. Especially for where we're going. People can easily just like sit on the corner and just wait for us the whole time. I wonder, I'm gonna go in the rocks over here, but I wonder if I can get the, the water, water po or power plant over here as well. Get those like sniper scales. I should be able to if they're still alive. Make sure a flashlight works, it does. And of course, if there are two players over here, make sure I'm not running away with my back towards them. I honestly, just for some reason, I wasn't even talking during that la that last fight. I just did not hear him. Like the second one coming at me. I only heard the first one, that was it. Maybe I saw another one, but I don't. All right, let's go over here, get to the shoreline. I think I'm gonna go up here first and then take the beach over. That way I'm not like exposing myself so much. Cause I can kind of like this, I can take the seawall pretty much all the way up. It's pretty far away. Kind of careful because I hear some shots, but oh. I don't know if that was at me or not. I definitely heard some ricochet ricochet towards me. That is a scab and a half. What the heck? In this. I know it's just a scav, but. Ooh, ooh. I don't see anything. Well, if it's just scavs, that means there's someone up there's there's another scav on the beach too.
But I saw one walking that way. Well, where'd he go is the question. Scavarino. I do need to take that one out though at some point. Probably on our way back. Took so many shots, man. <laughs> A lot of sh head shots too. Just went straight through them. I don't know where that one went, but let's go down here. Let's quickly reload just for ready. Have some mags that are kind of getting low. We'll check the save, check the computers as well while we're inside the building. Get these loaded up too. I'm looking forward to actually getting some more money so I can upgrade to different armor. I would like to rather, I'd rather be using like the gazelle and some other helmets. But that's coming. All in due time, we'll be using better stuff. Just hear that scab. Okay, then. It is on, on, on automatic, so I guess I don't really need to be tap firing. But same time, I'm trying not to waste too much ammo. This PC. I'm gonna get a graphics card one of these days, I know it. Diary. Guess I'll take the dollar bills for, or the rubles for now. Hey, we should be on top of here. Let's triple check. What you got for us? PC, yeah, PSU. Euros, that's all you got for me, huh? No. Speaking of Euros, we're gonna need Euros very soon for some upgrades in the hideout. So we'll definitely have to kind of keep an eye on getting those soon. this up hit the dead body and then after this we need to go over to the resort drink it up the other scab over here that we didn't kill Ooh, nice we got a metabolism level two out of that i am not leaving that guy in the middle of the of the road not gonna happen and i'm quite certain that was the one that we missed so we'll just keep moving head over to the power plant next see if we can get the rest of the scabs that we missed and then we can head over to probably the bus station next Bus station would probably be a good place to go for some kills. It is getting dark. I gotta be careful about that. I thought 1800 may be a good time to come in, but actually no, I think 1800 probably is a better time to come in now I think about it. You got a little bit more cover of darkness against people that are sniping. So yeah, I'm happy with that. All right. 
Let's hope for like three of them here. That's a scab shooting, I'm pretty sure. What's he shooting at? I can be able to see across there. It's too dark. Right, let's skirt towards our next objective. Let's keep her going. Keep her going. Somebody cottages, maybe? That's what it sounds like. That's one of them. I'm not sure if any snipers respawned. I didn't see when I scoped in, but it could be. Gave us his good stuff. Ooh, all right, I'll take that. It's like 44,000 or something like that. Pretty sure that's the, yeah, the dead one up there. Check this corner. I think we're good. All right, let's get over to bus station next. And after that, we can cut across and head over to 306. Now I think about it, we may have a better chance of finding... Oh, God. <laughs> I dropped my mouse. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Oh, I didn't even check to see what uh, what, what it came. I think it was a uh, same gun I was using. I was flicking. I was flicking my mouse like this, and I flicked it and tumbled it over. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Really. That was my fault. Oh, this episode may be a little bit longer because I need a literal single kill left, and I really don't want to have to come back for just a single kill. So let's get this thing repaired. Bring in a helmet. I think I can buy the face shield. I think it's just Plex, right? Oh, I can just straight up buy it, but I do have Plex. So, do the deal. Do the deal. Could repair. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm just going to repair that armor. Got a mask. I need to get a rig. I don't have much money, so I'm going to have to sell some stuff here. Sell that. Buy a backpack. Not die because I flicked my mouse over on the <laughs> side of the desk. I did that and immediately knew when I, when I grabbed it. And I was like, I'm dead. There's just no way. <laughs> Let's repair this. Good enough on that one. Which is probably not good on that one, but it's fine. Where's my face shield? There's face shield. No, face shield. Give that to me. Sell the cord here. 20 what? 27,000? We can sell these guys next. Well, let's go 20,000. I don't have a lot of time with this episode, but again, I can't just leave the episode with just a single kill left. That's just inhumane type of stuff on my part. I can't do that. Let's go 18,000. Looks like that one should sell. Let's set. What are you selling for? Let's go 13,000. And relay, are you still high ed priced or no? Well, that's not too bad. We'll, we'll do that one. What about ES lamps? Dang, they are still going pretty good. Get those sold. I know metal parts aren't going well. Actually, metal parts actually may be going for more. Let's take a look. 13,000 actually. Yeah, that's pretty darn good. Let's put 12,000 on that one. And that should be enough for me to buy what I need. Yeah, 220,000. Let's go to Peacekeeper here. Come down here. I really don't. I really shouldn't do like a crazy build since I need a single kill left. Where's the enforce? Where's the enforce? See if anyone's going for low price again. Yeah, it's probably over 70,000. Let's get that. I'm gonna do a very simple mod here. Take this off. 
push the gas block out. And then we need to... Actually, that suppressor last time wasn't even available for me. How about this one? That one's like 75,000, never mind. Oh shoot, that's not a, that's not a suppressor one. Sure, we'll go with that one. And then I'm just gonna put on a grip. Oh shoot, I can't even buy those two. Let's see what the prices are at. Actually, those that's fine. That's a lot cheaper than what I was gonna think it was gonna be. Grab that. Put a regular old little sight on there. Buy a couple mags. Let's buy like three. Three of them. Load them up. Load them up. Get these loaded. We can load the rest of the mags in there. Let's get that. I need some medical though. I don't have any medical right now. It's kind of weird. Cool. Got that. I do have stuff, stuff for heavy bleeds. We'll grab that. And this time I'm not going to flip my mouse like halfway across the map. Let's turn that visor on. Uh, should we get some? Let's just do the hot rod. Good enough. All right, let's head back out there. Let's do this one more time, shall we? I forgot how hard it is to hear with this helmet. It's very quiet. Well, I guess enjoy my voice for this episode part because I feel like I need to like whisper right now because of how loud I am compared to the game. Holy cow, this helmet really does suppress it. I bet you if I take this off, all we're going to hear is just wind in our ears. All right, anyway, anyway, focus, focus. We're going to try to get inside, grab the item as fast as possible. I should have brought an SJ6. I actually thought about bringing an SJ6, but then I went and got some water. I completely forgot about what I was doing. Doing? Doing. Hadouken. All right, let's get inside. We need to get to 306, grab the item, get the heck away from this area. Head down to the shoreline, grab the item, go to the cottage, and run away. And I'm sure during all that we'll find at least one scav. Hopefully. <laughs> so it's actually gonna happen or not. This is not a horrible M4. I feel like, I mean, obviously we can build a way better one. But for now, it will work. Let's go this way. I, honestly, I've completely forgotten the wet the wet works and also the cargo X like tasks. So don't ask me what they are, because I couldn't tell you. I don't remember. I'm going to keep my run up just in case I do run into somebody. That side entrance always makes me nervous. Go, go, go. I'm also trying not to talk too, too loudly right now, because I wouldn't be able to actually hear if people are coming this way or not. Because I can't hear if they are. Let's get to three story. Sure, I'll take those. I don't plan on doing any looting here. Except maybe computers. There are computers in here. Got the item. Check these. Wires. Now that armor got really, really damaged after repairing it. Uh, I should have brought something else, I think. Graphics card. DVD. All right. Grab that, grab that. All right, we got what we got. Or got what we got, got what we needed. So let's head out and head down to the shoreline. Watch out for this player. I am not on the last floor. Go back down one. I can hear explosions at least. So that's a positive. Don't see anyone coming. All right, let's go. Go, go, go. Let's get out of this place. A lot of explosions actually towards the village. I was not expecting explosions from that direction. But people do. There's like, what, three spawns over in that area? 
So there's a good chance you could run into somebody. All right, I'm going to do it just for right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to blow my ears out. Put it at 200. There we go. That should be a little bit better. Should have done that at the beginning of this raid. I'm going to be putting it back down to 80 after this because my 32 year old ears apparently can't handle extremely loud volume. So, but this is nice. I can actually hear the water now. Watch out for anyone. I think if anything, we're probably going to run into someone at the shoreline or up here at the power plant. Those are my guesses. Right, sniper down, task completed for that. Now we just gotta focus on getting the items. So I think Shoreline's probably our best bet. Let those guys do what they're doing over at the cottages. And then we will come up from the other side and see if we can try to catch them. And also get our tasks done. So I gotta figure that I think what happened with the mouse, I got cut out, caught on the uh what do you call it? I have like one of those cord stands that holds onto the cord. And I think what happened is I had it too short for like for whipping it, and it caught it and just was like, oh, it fell over on the side. It was funny. I ain't gonna lie. Even though it, it I died when I didn't want to die there and lost lost decent progress, I gotta laugh about it. It was funny. I haven't flipped a mouse like that in a long time. It is lost lightweight. I mean, it's a Logitech, so it's not like has the most components in the world, but it was funny. Uh, uh. Didn't I have to see a second one? Wait, wasn't there two? Am I going crazy? I think I am. I swear I saw two of them. I'm losing. There's only one apparently. I thought I saw one on the side of the tree. Or maybe I saw the tree and then like a little blur. Oh yeah, it could have been the blur that's on the, on the uh, right here on the actual uh, face shield itself. E245. Alright, let's reload this. Let me get down the shoreline. Yeah, I think I saw something. I bet you I'm gonna go look back at the footage and see that it was just the tree. With a little bit of the blur from the face shield. Is that a scabber player? A scat, okay. I'm like, I'm seeing something, but I think it's a scavo. There we go. Try not to waste the run when I'm over here. All right, let's get around the corner. If there is somebody here, hopefully we can, uh, Fight him off really easily. I think, especially with the the sight that we have now, it should be a lot easier. Close range. Granted, I think every close range I've done with this gun, I pretty much spam it, like without scoping in any way. Now, this is something I was thinking about. I, I was just thinking about something last night as I was trying to fall asleep because, well, couldn't sleep, so I was thinking about things. And I think this would be a really cool idea. Maybe I'm just crazy, but I like the idea. Hear me out. Let's see if you can. I like the idea that quest items, if someone has a physical, like has a physical item on them, 
That's that pretty, pretty pretty good safe there. If someone's got a item on them, all right, and they're running out and they get killed by another player, I think those items should be lootable. Even if the person isn't actually on that task. Because think about it this way. It's another way for someone to complete a task that may, you know, may not be able to afford the key or whatever. It would make those quest items, in my opinion, like way more valuable. I I kind of like them doing that. And, and I kind of want to put that as a suggestion. I think it's a really cool idea. But I want to hear you guys' thoughts on that one. Post in the comments, because I think it'd be cool. All right, so from here, let's go down to the beach, kill the scab that's down there, and then we can make our way over to the cottage. Trap 25. And quartz. Is there anything actually even good in this? I think this is all T45, drop it. Thought maybe that was a player for a second, but I don't know. I think that'd be kind of cool because then, like, you know, if you're really stuck on a like progression thing and like you come across somebody and like they have the item, it's like, all right, cool, I can complete this and move on. Just I wouldn't make them like tradable in the flea market, I would just make it so, like, if you obtain it through you know, in raid, then that's cool because I don't think it's going to cause like, any camping. Like, not like there isn't already camping as there is for certain areas. I think it would just be a nice little extra element. Let's see here. All right, so got that one down. Go through the hills here, pretty much follow the rocks all the way up to the water, and then we take a right into the cottages. I like that idea. These lions are super heavy, man. I forget how heavy they are. Nice thing is, though, I have both lions that we need for the tasks later on for the living high is not a crime. So we can just sell this one right away. And they're like 130, 140k. So that's a little bit extra, little chunk of money for us. I still want to get that mark trim key, like I was saying, but in due time, in due time, we have all the tasks we need to complete anyway. What I need to do is I need to, like, next episode, I need to quickly go over to interchange. Because there are a couple of tasks I'm going to complete there. And we're still working on sales night anyway. Why am I silhouetting myself? Let's get down, please. I need to do a couple things there. I need to get the books that I need to collect. Um, obviously, you need to survive. But I also need to plant the, the, the camera. The camera I need to still plant over there across from uh, the Kiba room. So we're going to end up doing that, I think, next episode. So I was I was looking at all the tasks like earlier today, and I'm like, informed arms. I'm like, how the heck have I not complete that dang task? And it's because every time we've gone interchange, we haven't brought a camera with us. But we are gonna make sure we get that completed next episode. I think from here, do we go for lighthouse or I think we go lighthouse after this? So we could follow like the little pit across and then kind of sneak our way over to the exit. There is drop coming in hey i don't have the uh, headphones on so it should be that bad because i got a little bit of ear protection yay It's still kind of loud, though. <laughs> I know a lot of people don't have this key, or like they at least they don't open it. I've always thought it's kind of weird that they don't, though. That's good key. Get some decent stuff out of it. I think I might keep that Tarcola, actually. 
How's the energy and everything? Yeah, we should be able to get out just fine. Item's gonna be over here. Grab that. And see what else we can get our hand. Oh, I lost the baker's book. Well, technically I didn't lose it. I still have it, but it's not fun to raid. <laughs> oh, I gotta find another one, please. Give me a baker's book right here. Diaries for days. Why are the diaries more expensive than the headphones? I think they are. Someone's gonna be like, uh, actually, they're not. You're probably right. Get some ammo loaded up. Eat up all the goodness. That's why I should have grabbed the I should have grabbed a trooper bag. I knew I was gonna run out of space at some point. A roller. Actually, can the diaries go in? Oh, the diaries can go in there. Oh, okay. See, I don't very much throw stuff in my docs case very often, as you can tell. Don't know if you can tell it or not, but I can. <laughs> Could check out the other other house. Considering that the back door is still closed, so there's a chance that no one's gone in it. Lucky for you guys, you get another long episode. I was only planning on making this episode like an hour long max, but you know me. If I don't complete a task, I and I really want to complete it, I'll complete it. Whatever it takes. Actually, now I think about it. I think the flash drive can go in there as well, so as the SSD. We have a little bit more space. Get lucky with something else. Skull. Wait, is this full already? No. Well, skull can't go in there. What am I doing? Money can go in there, though. Rubles, manual. Okay. Oh yeah, we got a little extra out of it. I'll take it. Let's get down here. I'll look at the task. I don't remember if you need the skull rings or not for any turn-ins. Been a while since I've done anything with skull rings, so we'll check that out. Or at least I'll check it out in between episodes. Let's get to the exit now. Let's get to the lighthouse, because there was some shooting over by the other extract. We might as well just go this way. Go. We're still gaining stamina back, which is good. I'm actually quite surprised no one came over to the cottages and didn't loot up the other safes, but hey, I'll take all the loot. It's fine with me. Good save, a good safe run for us at least. Sucks about that baker's book, but we'll find another one. We will definitely find another baker's book while we're uh, going around. We got a few more other items we got to find anyway. We're actually doing pretty good though. In the in the department of items for Kappa, we're we're looking good. Like we got a lot. Probably even count it up on the like maybe next episode at the beginning. I'll count them all up and see where we're sitting at because we are getting pretty close to having them all. There's only a few of them that are eluding me that I haven't I've yet to see. All right, so we're gonna make it across big open field. Let's go. Doors open. Scanning, scanning, scanning. Oh no, doors closed. That distance, man. Just couldn't see if it was open or not. All right, nothing. Just in case of something good. Like D fuel. Um. Eh. 
Yeah, need the book. Cause I can sell the helmet for like 30k on the fleet, and I'm not grabbing anything else anyway. Gotcha. I think the book sells anyway for like 30 some k. So I guess it's a trade off. But I have really nothing else to fill it with the extra two slots anyway. So I'll just take the helmet anyway, or just keep it. We'll, we'll use the helmet most likely. Almost there. But made it. But made it to the exit. We did all of our tasks. Finally. <laughs> and didn't die this time. I guess like 3,000 3, maybe? No. Not even close. Probably 2,000. I didn't kill that many people. Yeah, 1,800. <laughs> even less. All right. We'll take it. We'll take it. All right. Let's finish this up. Let's go to tasks. Peacekeeper. I have some tasks to turn in to you, sir. Wet job part one. Cargo X part one. We got part two, which is find the fisherman's dwelling. We know where that one's at. And locate the room, the health resort, obtain parts. I remember that one is, but we'll look it up. Maybe we'll look that up quickly. Therapist, I have another task to turn in for you. Let's turn in and turn in. What's your find in raid? Uh, I don't have sodium right now, so I can't do that task. Maybe we'll look if it's still available for next um, episode, then we will do it. But I don't think I have access to that right now. Hey, we have level 33. Very nice. We're getting there. We're getting there. Let's grab all of the items from you. Some nice stuff out of that one. We got two pistol cases now. I will take it. I'll take it. And a bunch of stuff we need to sell. But we are way too past the time. We'll look at some of the stuff in the next episode while we talk, discuss some stuff coming up. But let's get all that stuff dropped off. It's over. There we go. Drop that one off. All right. That's going to be good enough. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys enjoyed today's episode of the Ride Riches series, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you enjoyed about the episode, what you're excited about for the future. I know we didn't actually hit the gym this time, but we'll make sure we do it for the next one. Beyond that, I will see you in the next one.